this is a nimble little minx. Let's have a look. Cue the walk round. Here it is. Do you know what it is yet? Yeah, anyway, none of those. What I've got today is the Benelli Leoncino 125. Another bike I've wanted to go on for a while because these have been in the showrooms for a while, but there's generally none available for me to have a go on. And as soon as they said this one was available, I had to jump on it today, literally. So let's get straight to it. We'll have a walk around the bike. I'll show you what I like, what I don't. Heads up, I've not seen anything I don't yet. Styling wise with this bike, so far so good. But we'll have a look around. I've not had it for long. So we'll find out together if I spot anything I don't like. And as always, if you want to see more bikes like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's not going to do it itself. You need to press it. So press it and join the club. The sexy close-up. I don't know what it is. I keep saying every single bike so far that I've looked at looks really nice. But it's just true. And this is... Again, another bike for a 125. It looks awesome. I can't wait to have a go on the bigger ones as well because I think the styling on these bikes is really, really nice. Everything about them, even like to the little subtle touches, well, not so subtle, the big chrome plate there with the Benelli on. It, it's just just nice you it's another bike where your eyes are kind of all over the place even down to like just you know it's a black and white bike but it's got these graphics and stickers on and it just makes it pop i think the yellow with the black it looks good nice wheels only a single disc at the front single disc at the back again make sure you stay for the test ride because we'll find out together how good the brakes are I don't know why they do it, but they have that little bit sticking out there. I think it just doesn't look particularly nice. They've gone to all the trouble of styling and shaping this exhaust and putting a diamond shaping, and then they've just got this little black tube sticking out the end, which doesn't do it for me. But it sounds all right. You will see shortly. And it is a very simple paint job, really. It's just a black, black and white paint job. But it's just those little stickers that uh, just makes it stand out. Simple, really, isn't it? Simple fix. That's a nice looking light as well. Very Gucci, that, actually. LED indicators as well. Clear lens and all the way around to the other side. It's a good looking bike. Now, the seat. I can tell you now, this seat is quite firm. So it's not uncomfortable, but it's not the most comfortable seat I've ever been on. But bear in mind, it's brand spanking new this. So once it's been jumped on and off a couple of times, I'm sure that would soften up a little bit. And we've got the clear lenses at the back as well for your indicators chain drive of course got a side stand we haven't got a center stand on it i don't know if it's an option for this bike if i can find out i will let you know if the wind's coming across apologies because it is quite windy nice little action there nice little foot pegs for your passenger but there is not yeah, there's no grab rails or anything for the passengers to hold on to. So unless they're going to ride them like a bucking bronco or it's cuddle time. Left side controls, we've just got your horn indicator, high low beam, and then we've got a flash there for your light. The right hand side, with industry standard, we've got your start button, we've got your engine cut off, and then we've got your hazard lights there as well. So the screen, it's not a TFT, it's just like a, an LCD screen. As long as I can see, 
how fast I'm going then that's all I'm bothered about and this has got loads of information on it you've got your rev meter going around the top we've got a digital speedo we've got your total miles you can see I've only done two on this it's a baby we've got a gear indicator we've got a fuel gauge we've got an engine temperature we've got quite a lot going on for a small screen and apologies because the sun is glaring uh, it's coming sideways, yeah, you can see it a little bit better. It's a decent screen, it's got everything that you need on there, nothing more. Just normal procedure from me, really. I'm going to go and take it for a ride, so make sure you join me for the test ride. As far as facts and figures go, I'll always put those on at the end, and if you're interested in this bike or you're just looking for a new bike, I'll put a link to Into Moto in the description just because they've been kind enough to let me take this bike out. So have a look at their website if you want a new bike. And if I if I look a bit squinty today, it's because the sun is over there and it's getting me right in the face. And I need a shave. But well no shave. Let's hit them because I'm looking a bit trampy. But anyway, if you're interested in facts and figures, make sure you stay to the end. Always go on then. And this bike looks that good. I need to go and take it for a ride. So join me for the test ride. Designed in Italy. And you can tell. I do think the Italians, they know how to style a motorbike, don't they? It's always got to be different. But in a good way. Let's have a little listen to it, how it sounds, shall we? Let's open the visor, you might be able to hear it a little bit better. Sounds nice. I'm a big fan of 125s. For me, the 125 bikes are the best way to learn how to ride. And I do genuinely mean that as well because 125s will get up to motorway speed so you will get up to 60 70 mile an hour if you're lucky and it's just a really good starting point 50 is a brill when you're 16 it gets you on the road and stuff but 125s are more user friendly like you can tour on a 125 i know there's bigger and better bikes to do it but 125s are a great starting point and if you find a good one then you there's just hours and hours of fun on them i love my little 125 and i've got a benelli this is its big brother the benelli leoncino it's the 125 version so they do do these leoncinos in a couple of different engine sizes and i i'm hoping in the next couple of weeks or in the next week or so i should be getting a go on all of them So I'm hoping to get out on the Leoncino, certainly the 800, that's one that really does look nice and uh, I've had my eye on for a bit, so I'm hoping I'm going to get out on one of those very soon. But anyway, back to this, back to the 125. As far as 125s go, this is another one of those that I would say is on the premium side. They are they are nice they're not basic by any stretch and i think benelli do it really really well with the styling i've already mentioned i love my little tnt i think it's quite cool how they've styled that and this is exactly the same there's just little touches to it just draws your eyes to it straight away and i do really like it so you tell me what do you think of the walk round? what do you think of this bike would you have one it feels a bit more a bit more grown up to what my TNT is. This seems like more of a big big boys bike. The TNT is a bit of a laugh and stuff, but this feels a bit more just a bit more. <laughs> is a brand spanking new bike with no miles on so i'm not going to be 
seeing how fast this bike goes I'm not doing any motorway rides on it or anything it's just a nice little ride just to get a general feel of the bike and it does feel very pleasant oh let's take them oh plenty of power so for a 125 it's it's good it's got plenty in the tank i'm a big Benelli fan I think they are making some really really nice bikes at the minute all through the range and from what I've seen from the bike show that's taking place in Italy at the minute and I can't wait to go to the NEC in Birmingham to have a look at them there but Benelli have released loads of new models that I'm really hoping are coming to the UK I really hope they do because some of those look awesome as well and this is just one of many of the bikes that I just look at and think that is awesome and as far as 125s go yes you can find cheaper 125s but you can also find more expensive and a lot more expensive I just think these bikes they sit in that place in the market for me where all of the trendy the really good looking bikes sit the 125s like the the mondials i think the mondials that hps i did a test ride of absolutely beautiful bike work of art you could have it hung up on the wall in your house and i wouldn't get tired of looking at it and this is kind of around that level as well it's a just it's a beautiful bike to look at it's it's one that you will get off it take a few steps away and you will look back and have a look at it because you'd be proud to own this it's absolutely gorgeous this bike and whoever designed it I'm going to do an erpat on the back for you because it's <laughs> it looked like I was wafting a fart then it feels quick for a 125 yeah I like it so I'm going to take it back to into moto facts and figures coming up very very shortly if you're interested in this bike which you should be because to summarize it's a great 125 it's certainly up there with the most powerful ones that you can get or it certainly feels it it is comfortable albeit the seats a little bit hard but generally um, yeah I would recommend this bike so if you're looking at one go and have a sit on it I can flat foot it and you know how small I am at five foot eight so any taller you'd be fine any shorter you'd probably be fine if you're a couple of inches shorter if you're around the five foot mark I would say go and have a sit on one in the garage and then you can find out yourself but Back it into moto. I shall catch you on the next one. See you later, guys and girls. Bye for now.